Hello you guys! It's time to decorate the music room for Christmas, but first let's figure out this song. weekend was our studio recital and it was a magical weekend for me because I mean given what we've been through as a world and society to have it end with a little group of us together playing Christmas carols and um, just playing fabulous medieval music that we've been learning the whole year and some of them some some people had reached out to me at the beginning of last year so that would be the beginning of 2021 yep <laughs> what year are we in um and then some of them reached out to me at the beginning of 2020 and some people have been with me for a long time but anyway it was just a, it was amazing because some of my students had literally learned completely online with me and a lot of my studio has done that but anyway it just to have it end with a Christmas recital was so special. And I hired my friend Elvira to play the piano for us and she was amazing. She made us all sound so good. <laughs> so I am officially in the Christmas spirit and it is time to decorate the music room, like I said. So I have two bags here. The first bag are like little decoration things that I've had over the years. Um, they're mostly from the, they're actually all from the dollar store, I think, but they're quite cute. They're very, very cute. In fact, let's put on a garland right now. Let's put on a garland or two right now, I should say. How about this green one? Look at how beautiful this is. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. <laughs> you can't find these this year, at least at my dollar store. So, okay, we'll just... Should we just, let's keep putting them on. Let's keep putting them on. Let's put a red one on. Um, and if there's a gold one, eventually we'll put on a gold one. <laughs> so I knew I got all dressed up for a reason today. I'm like, I just feel like getting a little bit more glam today. And it's because I need to sit down here with you and we need to film the decorate the Christmas, decorate the music room, you know, for Christmas video. <laughs> so actually maybe what I'll do is I want to just show you some of my special little things. So this bag are gifts that students have given me. They're either cards, like this one. How sweet is this? So it says, and hopefully my students won't mind me reading out their little cute little letters, but Dear Amber, Merry Christmas. Thank you for being such an amazing teacher. Since knowing you, I've become a better Beulah and a better person, smiley face. That's impossible for this person to be a better person. She's such a sweetie. Love, Dia. So, in fact, I'm gonna see her today. So I'm gonna pop this up here. Oh, by the way, this is a little card that my mom sent me from New Zealand. My mom is now in New, she's been in New Zealand for the past couple of years, but um, anyway, she wasn't sure if this card would get to us. So she says, I hope this gets to you. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Anyway, so that's on the music stand as well. Um, and these cards, some of them are extra special because they're from when I would teach in person. So here's another beautiful Christmas card. And it says, oh, this is also from my mom. Oh, this is from last year. Okay. 
so this got this got in the pile of of studio stuff probably because i had it on my music stand all the important things go on the music stand um this is a sweet little card look at this peace on earth um, it's all in gold and beautiful, the beautiful little dove on it, carrying an olive branch. So let all the world welcome the season of peace, love Monica and Matt, and they've been students of mine for just, I think ever since I moved out here in 2013. So it's now 2021. <laughs> Look at this one, Merry Christmas, it says. It's a cute little, little car. I actually have this, like, as a real version from the dollar store, so we'll, we'll have to inspect that. Um, oh my gosh, this is from my best friend, one of my best friends. Um, so also not a, not a studio thing, but an important thing to add to the music stand. Merry Christmas, Amber and Brent. Much love. Hope your holidays 2021 are filled with peace, love, and joy. Always and forever, Rochelle and Bobby. And Rochelle had a baby girl this, this year. So I'm, I have another niece and I'm just so, so in love with her. I'm, I'm like hoping... Hoping to see them in person very soon. <laughs> but some cute little cats in a, it must be like a little um, Christmas stocking. They're like in a stocking. So, oh my goodness. I don't know that I can read the writing there. Amber and Brent, may your holiday be filled with warmth and happiness, best wishes and stay well. Looking forward to today's lesson. Um, I can't read the name there, <laughs> but it's clearly one of my students because it says um, to today's lesson. So anyway, I'll have to I'll have to decipher that name later. But how sweet is that? Um, oh, this is one from I won't show their faces, but this is a little card from one of my other best friends who lives in Massachusetts. Pop him up there. And a oh, cute little love of Christmas card. These are all from last year. So I still, so, oh my gosh, this is from Dave. Thank you, Dave. He's one of the, let's see, and what, what, how should we refer? So I taught Dave online for a period of time. We did recorded lessons actually, so not even live. I would record a lesson specifically for him. And we did, I think maybe eight of those. I can't remember, maybe, anyway, no more than eight, I don't think. But Dave has, he lives in, he's come out, he lives near, you know, in this area. And so he's come out to some of our group things that we do in person. He joins us on the virtual studio circle. He's kind of, he's on the Patreon um, community. So let's say that. <laughs> so how sweet. Amber, thanks for your encouragement, patience, and wonderful teaching style. I'm glad you're my violin teacher. How sweet. Dave, you've got to, you have to, you know. Contact me. You have to have a follow-up lesson. Make sure that you still know what to do on the violin. <laughs> okay, and look at this sweet one here. This one I got yesterday from our recital. This is from my student, Katie. Merry Christmas. You're an amazing teacher, and our lessons are fun. Warmest wishes of the season. So she gave me three things of Harney and Sons tea. So we will have to open those. We'll have to have a little Harney and Sons tea party for sure. Um, with all of the holiday teas from Harney and Sons. Now this is the magical bag of ornaments. So, um, let me see here. We have Jingle Bells, which is actually a cute little like to and from. This was like part of a gift. I think it's actually from Katie a few years ago, um, like three or four years ago. Um, so there's that. Then there's a little ornament from the Isle of Man, which is a little island between Great Britain and Ireland. And it's where the famous Lionel Turtis, inter not Lionel Turtis, yeah, Lionel Turtis, I was thinking of Primrose, Lionel Turtis International Viola Competition is. It's always on this little magical island, the Isle of Man. And I, um, I just have some of the happiest memories there and a special memory for sure is there. So we had to get some ornaments from there. So this has to, this might have to go front and center. It's gonna go right up my ear. I have a, like a little stand where I have all my, all my lipsticks and all my crystals and a beautiful picture and a pine cone. <laughs> Just fabulous things. Okay. 
Look at this beautiful golden violin or viola or cello or let's call it a violin or viola. <laughs> so this was also a little gift. I can't remember if this came with a bow at one point. I think um, there must have been a piece of string around it, which has now, you know, been lost. So I will need to put that gently somewhere. This one is a beautiful. This was from my student, Rachel. Ages ago, ages ago, she gave this to me. She's a really good friend of mine now, but she's still a violin student. Let's see, I think I've known Rachel since 2014, maybe? Like, just very early 2015, perhaps. So imagine, you know, I've known her for so long. Every week she's been bothered with me for so long. <laughs> So I'll pop that there. And then I have a little tiny Christmas ornament from Monica and Matt. I have a card from them um, on my music stand. And so that's that was the very first Christmas gift that I was given. They also gave me like a mini Christmas tree the year that I moved um, out here in 2013. And I was like a poor college student and all sad and lonely and didn't know anybody. And, so they, anyway, that just is a sweet, happy memory, that little ornament they gave me, along with all the other things. <laughs> okay, look at this beautiful thing. There's a, a tree with music notes in it. It says music, music is the universal language on it. And it's like a metal kind of ornament. It's lovely with a beautiful red ribbon around it. So I will be easily able to drape that over one of my little clips that I have to, it's really, those clips are to hold music, but um, I don't know if you can see, I, it's probably a bit hard to see. We'll, we'll do, in fact, let me move so that you can maybe see my music stand a little bit better. It's in the sun. Maybe you'll be able to we should have that in the background. We should definitely have that in the background. <laughs> okay. Oh, just imagine that um, rocking around the Christmas tree is on in the background. That's my favorite Christmas carol, like popular Christmas carol. And then the last little ornament I have are these cute little owls and they have our initials on them. And this was from the Christmas market down in um, Philadelphia. I took, um, we went to the Temple University Christmas recital one year. And then we went to the Christmas market afterwards and went and had some hot chocolate and treats at the Max Brenner chocolate um, restaurant. So when we were at the Christmas market, I, I had everybody that was there sign their initials. There were just a few of us. Um, and so this is such a precious memory. This was such a happy, a happy, happy memory for me. So there's that. Those are all of my special ornaments um, from the studio. And so now it is time to probably decorate or at least get out some of these little things. So you may see, how about this? You might see these in the background in future videos <laughs> or in your lesson. If you happen to be a student, you might see this in your lesson. So here's the little sleigh. I also, like I said, have this cute little car. Cute little car. This is Merry Christmas on its little red truck with a Christmas tree in the background. It's so cute, it's so cute. So there's that one. I also have a little elf hat, which I should definitely be wearing, although it's out of the picture right now. So I'll just send the bell on it. This is from the dollar store. You can't find these this year. You can't, or at least not by my, not by me. <laughs> so there's that. I have some more little bells and these, these belong on our scroll, you know, the violin scroll, the viola scroll. Actually, I'm going to be playing the harp at Silver Moon Antiques on Christmas Eve day. That's my friend's store where I get like some really beautiful jewelry. She has beautiful antique furniture, like French um, antique furniture. And of course, we all want like the beautiful gold French mirrors um, that are, you know, they just look like they were in the 
in the in the castle of King Louis the Fourteenth. Um, so yeah, so, so just imagine that as the that's all like the furniture and then magical scarves and like magical crystal jewelry everywhere and just it's gorgeous it's gorgeous so i'm gonna be playing the harp there on christmas day eve <laughs> no christmas eve day yeah there we go got it reversed so i have to practice my christmas carols but maybe i'll put one of these little bells around the around the harp that'll be fun more um, garlands and at our recital this last saturday i put a garland around everybody we played as we played christmas carols and I'm gonna post some photos on Instagram about that, um, but I'm literally, I'm just literally gonna be glowing from that for the next possibly year <laughs> until the next one. But anyway, here's the little reindeer, a little gold reindeer. How cute is he? He's got a hair. He's got one of my hairs. A couple of my hairs. My hairs cling to everything. My hairs are always clinging to things. And look at these gorgeous Christmas trees. I know they're like all the same style with the with the tinsel. Um, but I just really, <laughs> I just really like them. I don't know that they'll all get out, get to be put out because I have such a small little room here, but it's just fun to look through Christmas things. Another sleigh. Did I show you this? I don't know if, we might not have seen these yet, but beautiful. I have two of these gold Santa sleighs with red, like gold, a red sleigh and gold, you know, detail. So, so lovely, so lovely. And one more little Christmas tree. So anyways, those are all of the things that at one point I would put out in the, my studio when I would teach in person. They would be, you know, every everywhere, here or there. And another tradition that I had um, for a few years was during the month of December and into maybe like the first week of January, maybe, I would bring special little liqueurs to the lesson for my adult students because <laughs> I have a lot of adult students or this or, or the parents of my little ones so um I would have um like Chambord which is a I think it's like a blackberry liqueur it's fabulous you can add it to champagne Mwah, it is wonderful there's Drambuie which is like a sweet um, I think it's like a sweet whiskey. I can't remember. I have, I have, I actually have <laughs> some that I never drink, um, over there in the other, in the kitchen and you can put it in your coffee and I would have a little coffee maker. We could add, you could like add the liqueurs to your coffee. Of course, Bailey's, which I don't have, unfortunately, or fortunately. <laughs> um, so I would bring like, like little things that you could add to your, you know, coffee at your lesson um, just to just like a little bit, you know, and I would have some freshly baked cookies that I would have made. I love making chocolate chip cookies. Um, I love making ginger snaps, chocolate cookies, all sorts of things. I, I at one point baked my way through the Gales Bakery cookbook, which um, or bakery book. I don't know. They don't make it anymore, and so it's like kind of a it's kind of like a collector's item. This this cookbook, this baking book. But I do have a picture of me holding a big box of all of her, all of the things from Gail's on my Instagram. We were just in California, um, visiting family in California, and so we, of course, had to go. We had to make a pilgrimage to Gail's, and you have to just get one of everything when you go there because it is it is an amazing um, European style bakery. You will not. You'll you'll have to just like you you will consider moving to that area just for that bakery. <laughs> So anyway, um, I would I would just have some special things at lessons for everybody, and so I would of course decorate the room with all of these things. But there's too many things here for me to decorate this small space with. But I will like put little things here. Definitely will hang the ornaments up on my stand and and whatnot. But I hope you are having a wonderful holiday season. And if you haven't looked at the Talbots website. Talbots is where I get all of my clothes from and a lot of my shoes from and all of my scarves, not all of my scarves, Silver Moon Antiques as well, but um, earrings, all of the things that aren't from Silver Moon Antiques are from Talbots and they are all on sale and in fact everything will be really, really on sale at the end of the year. So that's what I'm waiting for. <laughs> but anyways, um, yes, if you do need a gift for somebody, 
I would definitely look at the Talbot's website because they have jewelry, they have bags, they have shoes, they have clothes, they have cashmere, they have gloves, they have earmuffs, they have coats. It's your one-stop shop for a complete fabulous look. So this turned into a commercial for Talbot's, <laughs> but I'm obsessed with that store and have been for many years. So anyways, Merry Christmas, you guys. I'm going to practice the harp. I'm going to decorate a little bit. I'm going to plan out today's lessons. And this Friday is our virtual studio circle. So this is our Christmas themed, Christmas and Hanukkah, I should say, themed um, virtual studio circle for the month of December. And you can actually join, you can stay in the loop with all of these things and join the Patreon community. It's Patreon, if you're not, if you don't know what Patreon is, it's, it's a site where content creators can post specific um, content for specific tiers. And that's where I do a lot of my teaching that's um, not like one-on-one, -on -one, like typical private lesson teaching. Patreon, I teach to a community and I have three different tiers and I'm starting a fourth tier in January. It's a group class tier. So if you want to stay in the loop with all of that, if you're not sure if you want to join the group class tier, <laughs> you can join the $1 tier and just stay in the loop with everything that we're doing. So we do a group class every other week for violin and um, and then every month we do a virtual studio circle. And this month, like I said, this Friday, we're going to sit down and I'm going to guide us through some breathing exercises, some stretches for violin and viola um, players. We're gonna pull a fairy card because the fairy, and here's the fairy card from last time. This was November's fairy card. You see the little ball of inspiration there? It's so magical. So, um, and then we will, I'll guide us through some Hanukkah tunes. We can explore that. We can also play through some Christmas carols. And the way that I do that is I, um, for my students, who I am familiar with, or I'll just say, would anyone like to try? I just assign like one line and it's very casual. Like we kind of like try and play one line and then the next person tries to play the second line and then the third line and then the fourth line or however many lines there are. But it's just fun. It's just fun. And, and you know, you can participate or not participate. You can just listen. That's fine. But um, after that, we're going to have a little discussion on what we've, what we've learned this last year with music things that were difficult that we're trying to master and things that we feel that we started to grasp or completely like completely finished books we might have completed and also maybe talk about some goals for December or not December but January in 2022. So it's going to be a good reflective math uh, not master class but virtual studio circle and I would love for you to join in. So check out Patreon it's patreon.com slash violin viola masterclass. All of my YouTube, my website also has all of this stuff is violin viola masterclass.com. Um, Instagram, I just post fun little pictures there. It's violin viola masterclass. And of course, Patreon is violin viola masterclass. So there is an app that you can get. Just look for the Patreon app, download that. It's free. And there's a lot of content creators out there. Um, so it's fabulous. And anyways, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and I will see you all very soon. Bye.